Kayla, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, it's really nice to meet you. Today I'm gonna to be doing a halo eye, a pink halo eye, and with a little bit of silver. So if you wanna figure out how to do that, keep watching the video. The palette that I'm gonna be using today is the Morphe X Jam Charles palette. And I am going to go in with this pink. And I am putting this color all over my eye. I like to start in my crease, work my way up, and then work my way down. I am going to try to not get it in the center of my eye. However, it's okay if it does because we will go in with some concealer and clean that up. How about a little life update for the ones that are not new? <laughs> well. How about a little update for all you guys? So I got an email last night. I read it this morning, however, it was from last night and it was sent last night. And I looked at it this morning. There is this nice human being that would love to do a portrait of me. I think that is literally so cool and so nice. And I was so flattered by it. I am still flattered by it. I wouldn't expect anyone to want to uh, sketch a portrait of me. I, that's crazy. But I accepted and I'm waiting for a response. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. I'm really excited about it. I think that's so cool. <laughs> I don't really personally think that I have a face that is good for anything. <laughs> but hey, if someone else sees the beauty, I'm all here for it. I love when people are like really proud of their art or they take the step and actually email the person or reach out to the person that they want to do something with. That takes a lot, especially with someone that has anxiety like me. I already just think that everyone has like anxiety just like me so when I see that I, I just feel so proud even though I don't know the person. I just, I know it takes a lot to uh, reach out to someone to brand yourself or to even get out there in the first place. I'm really excited to see how uh, this goes. And I will keep you guys posted on the journey. And if I find out this person's social media, I'll let you guys know. So right now I have that pink on my eye and I'm going in with this color right here and I'm blending out the top. Now I'm gonna go back in with that pink again. I see there is some parts where the eyeshadow didn't stick to. So I'm just tapping it onto those parts. And how I got the straight line right here, I literally just took my brush and did that. And I took my finger and I wiped up. Sometimes, however, I use, you guys would know this if you guys followed me. I use my brush that I put on my setting powder with and I just go like this with it, brushing that product up and creating a sharp line. And I'm sorry, my hair is a absolute mess. So just ignore that. And I don't know why I am sparkly again. It, I feel like it was, it's somehow in my, my setting powder brush, but it doesn't really look like it. I don't know. So we're just working with that as well. I am now taking a flat brush and I am really packing that pink onto my lid, not going in the center. Avoiding the center. Now I'm taking my concealer and a flat concealer brush and I'm gonna carve out that space where I was avoiding with the eyeshadow. If you have a big enough brush, say about that size, I just tap it on mostly. And I am going above my crease with this as well because I really want you to see it when I have my eyes open. And it's okay if you get it in a space where you don't want it. We could always add more pink. Now, yes, it looks funny right now. I'm gonna take a white now I'm gonna put it right where I put that concealer. I'm just tapping it on with my finger at first and then I will go back in with a brush and pack more on with a flat brush. I am now taking the flat brush and I am tapping this white on. Again, it is okay if it goes a little on the pink, we can add more pink. Now taking that, that flat brush that I put the pink on, and I'm going all around this white that we put down 
and brightening up the edges. Now I am going to take some of this pink and go on my lower lash line with it, connecting it up to the line that we created. I did put some white in my waterline. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit more in. And I used a eyeliner, however, it wasn't the color that I wanted. <laughs> So I am just putting white eyeshadow on top of that. And I understand a lot of people can't, can't do that. <laughs> I'm really used to touching that line and putting stuff on it. So it's okay if you can do that. Don't feel like you have to do that in order to get this look. You can do a black eyeliner or you could just not put anything on it. That would be okay as well. Again, I'm just taking brushes. This is my clean brush and then I'm taking the brush that I put on the pink with and just blending out the edges a little bit. And now I'm taking another flat brush and I'm going in with this white shimmer right there and I'm gonna put that right on top of the white. I'm also gonna spray it with some setting spray and this is so I get the best pigment out of it. It really packs it on. So that is what that looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and I'll be right back. Now that I have the other eye done, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my water activated liner palette and I'm gonna go in with the silver. And where you see that pink line, I'm gonna go right on that line and do the graphic liner. And it's okay if you don't see it at first. I am just getting the rough line. Now I'm gonna trace this line, meeting it at the top. And uh, just like that, just going over that line. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye, and I'll be right back. So I just finished the other eye. If you mess up, I noticed that you could take the flat brush that you put on the pink in the first place with and clean it up a little bit. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do my wing liner going off of that right there and I'll be right back when I am done with that. <laughs> okay, so I finished my eyeliner. Next is mascara. The mascara that I'm going to be using is Killash by Cleo. So after mascara, I am going to go in with some false lashes. I'm just putting some mascara on first. Now let's go ahead and put some false lashes on. Now, these lashes are from the Dollar Tree, but I thought they looked very pretty. This is what it is. I think they're very pretty. Now, what they would look like on the eye, who knows? <laughs> if you hear anything in the background, it could be my dog snoring or my cousin. My cousin. <laughs> my nephew. He's very talkative right now. Not really talkative, but screaming talkative if that makes any sense what am i trying to look for i need to like focus okay so i'm gonna go ahead and glue these onto my eyes and i will be right back okay now that i have those on the lipsticks that i'm gonna be using today is phase zero in the shade undercover and youth for you play with fire this is the finished look. I hope you enjoy. I hope I helped you in any way. And let me know what you think of this look. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you do not miss the next video. Bye.